Hello and welcome to my presentation. My name is Arvid Ender Seidlitz. I am from the Leibniz Institute for Crystal Growth and today I'm going to talk about the development of a coupled heat and gas flow model for crystal growth. Here's an outline of my talk. I will start with the motivation for the topic. Then I will get into more detail about the software and the coupling strategy that I want to apply. I will discuss the precise adapters, including some test cases, and in the end there will be a conclusion. So let's start with the motivation. I am working on Chochalski crystal growth, which is an important process, especially for the production of silicon single crystals that I use to produce solar cells and computer chips. Here you see a video from the experiment that we built for validation. It works with tin and yeah, the process itself works by dipping a seed crystal into liquid warm material, which you um, see here in this crucible. Then the seed is pulled upwards and the crystal grows. Now on the left hand side in this figure, there is the physics visualized that are involved in this process. We have the induction heating, which is this coil around the crucible that have some electromagnetism and generate heat inside the crucible, which is transferred through the melt into the crystal. And around there is gas. So we also have some gas flow. Last but not least, there are thermal stresses inside the crystal that have an important influence on material quality. From a numerical point of view, this process is challenging due to the coupled physics, due to the moving geometries with the crystal that is growing, and due to the different timescales. So this video that you just saw took in reality 20 minutes and yeah the time scales of the flow are of course much much shorter in the project that i'm working in we have some additional goals for the simulation which is on the one hand the open source implementation and second the validation using model experiments so with this, I'd like to come to the software that I plan to use and for, to the coupling strategy. For the heat transfer, electromagnetism and thermal stress simulation, I'm using Finite Element method. Um, the one solver that I'm using is ALMA, which is kind of a multi-physics simulation toolbox. It includes various solvers for the physics that are ready to use available and the coupling in between the solvers is already implemented in Emma. However, it lacks some features and yeah, it's hard for me to extend Emma because it's implemented in Fortran 19 and quite a big software. Therefore, I also use Phoenix, which I, yeah, say for customize FEM solvers. It is easy to implement solvers in Phoenix because it's all written in Python. However, I require the newest version of Phoenix, which is called Phoenix X, because I need complex norm numbers to solve my electromagnetism problem. The disadvantages is that it is not working out of the box, so all solvers have to be written by yourself. And yeah, Phoenix X is still under development, so there are quite some changes in the API, which makes development difficult when you want to move to a newer release. For the gas and melt flow, we want to use finite volume method and decided to use open foam because there are various solvers available, including the turbulence models that we want to use. Um, yeah, and with this, it's possible to compute the melt and gas flow very efficiently. The problem with open foam is 
um, that multi-region simulations are a bit difficult and yeah therefore we want to use it in a couple manner. So the question is how to bring these tools together. Well you all know that and that's the reason why I'm here. Um, it is to use precise. So let's look at the coupling in more detail. First regarding the heat transfer and the electromagnetism. We have the electromagnetic heating so we have a joule heat generated from the magnetic field of our induction coil uh, which acts as a heat source in the volume and we have a feedback from the heat transfer model to the electromagnetic model in terms of electric conductivity that are temperature dependent. This is solved in the FEM solver itself and does not have any influence on the precise coupling. We have a working simulation implemented for this where we model the gas transfer with heat transfer coefficients and the melt flow with an increased heat conductivity. It has been validated with our experiment. Works quite well, but of course, including more physics is always better. And yeah, this is implemented in both Alma and Phoenix separately. Now, when we want to include our gas flow into the model, we want to use an additional finite volume method solver, uh, which is open foam. And we have a surface coupling where we exchange heat transfer, heat fluxes and temperatures. So this is a directly normal coupling on surfaces. And when you look at this case from outside, from the precise perspective, this case is actually quite similar to the flow of a heated plate, which I therefore selected as a test case that I will use later. But first, let's look at the coupling. It gets more complicated when we have a second finite volume solver for the melt flow. Then we have additional coupling to the heat transfer model with, again, heat fluxes and temperatures, but also in between. So still directly Neumann coupling on surfaces, but between just more participants. Furthermore, we have an influence of the electromagnetism on the flow due to Lorentz forces, and this would be an additional one direction of volume coupling. In the most complicated scenario, when we also include the stress model, we implement this in our FEM solver, so with the internal coupling, and there would be a one directional coupling where we feed temperatures in the volume into the stress model. So now let's look at the precise adapters that are available for this coupling. For OpenFoam and Phoenix, there are officially supported adapters provided that bring all the features that we need. But as already mentioned, I'm not using Phoenix, but I'm using the newer version Phoenix X. And for this, there was an adapter just forked from the Phoenix adapter, which is in experimental status and requires some adjustment. The Emma adapter is also experimental and was developed in the master thesis. It includes only some of the features required for us, especially the coupling scheme is just explicit. So my conclusion so far is that the open form adapter is great and brings all we need as far as I know. The Emma adapter only explicit and um, the Phoenix adapter brings the main infrastructure, but also requires some adjustment. And that's why I decided to try them just out to get a feeling how things work. And for this, I selected a flow of the heat tutorial case. So let's first look at the Phoenix X adapter. Here my general experience is that I had some difficulties 
due to the development status of Phoenix, I could not use the latest alpha release, but had to switch to the development version from GitHub to get the latest bug fixes. And there were quite a lot of changes in the API that made my life a bit difficult. In the setup, I had some issues in the linking with Precise because of different Patsy versions, but um, I managed to get a Docker file with a working configuration that you can get as an image under the link shown here. Regarding the adjustment of the adapter itself, which I did together with Benjamin Rudenberg from the Precise team, I used a partitioned heat equation tutorial case um, with a Phoenix X, Phoenix X coupling. So um, you see the meshes shown there on the top. We have two solvers that solve the heat equations. And in between there is a Dirichlet Neumann coupling. I use this test case to adjust the adapter to the new Phoenix X API. Um, there are some tests included in the repository, but currently not working. The parallelization was not touched so far. But um, yeah, I managed to get some good looking results. Um, and there is a pull request open. Regarding the flow over heated plate test case um, with the Phoenix X open flow coupling, I used the precise tutorial cases as a starting point and adjusted it to the new API, which of course included quite a lot of debugging. Um, the case itself is shown there on the right. We have on top the fluid domain that is solved with open foam with flow from left to right. And on the bottom is solid domain that is heated and a Dirichlet Neumann coupling between the two domains where temperature and heat fluxes are exchanged. And yeah, after debugging, this worked immediately. You can see that we have smooth isothermals over the inter interfaces and I'm really happy that it looks so good. Now the AMA adapter, first my general exper experience, it was easy to set up. I just had to compile the adapter solver. Um, there's a good documentation for the partition heat equation in the um, adapter repository and in the thesis of Hicham who developed the adapter there is a lot of background information. Here you see um, an image for the partitioned heat conduction that was my first test case and then I tried to implement the flow of a heated plate using Alma and OpenFoam. I had there some problems due to and different naming of variables in standard precise and in Elmer, um, which I could solve by hard-coded renaming in the coupler solver. And furthermore, Elmer just uses lower, lower case letters, so I needed to adjust the precise config from the tutorials. But in the end, I managed to get a working case. Here again is the results shown after 10 seconds. And yeah, you can already see the main problem with this adapter. It is the steps in the isothermals, and this is caused by the explicit coupling. And with this, I would now like to come to my. I showed you the strategy for coupling in crystal growth simulation where we use finite element method for the electromagnetism, the heat transfer and the stress computation with the software Elmer or Phoenix X and finite volume method with open foam for the gas flow and mat flow simulation. I analyzed the available adapters for the coupling with precise between Elmer open foam and Phoenix X open foam using the flow of a heated test plate test case 
The Phoenix X adapter works very well with the results shown on the right. Um, the armor adapter has some steps in the temperature profile due to the explicit coupling that is only provided. The parallelization is not implemented in the adapters and was therefore not tried. There, the last two points would be important for our future works, but we don't have, unfortunately, the capacities for the adapter development and would be very interested in a collaboration there. The outlook for us is that we want to set up a new test case that is still quite similar to the open, to the flow overheated plate, but uh, in steady state and with buoyancy only. We want to try this for both adapters and then select the best candidate and apply it for crystal growth simulation to get from the case with heat transfer and electromagnetism to the next step with the coupled gas flow simulation. And this we want to validate with a PIV measurement setup that we are currently building. Yeah, that's it. I thank you for your attention. Um, at this point, I would also like to thank the whole precise team, especially Benjamin and Marquis for their advice and discussions that we had, and Hisham for the development of the Alma adapter.